Hi guys, in this video, I will tell you about the exorcism of George Lukens based on a true story. <laughs> Subscribe. In 1778, the exorcism of George Lukens became a famous and chilling horror story. George Lukens, a young boy from Yatton, England, was said to be possessed by evil spirits. The local minister, Reverend Joseph Easterbrook, attempted an exorcism to rid him of the malevolent entities. The events during the exorcism were described as terrifying, with George exhibiting abnormal behavior convulsions, and speaking in strange languages. The story has been retold and adapted over the years, adding to its eerie lore. However, it's essential to remember that historical accounts may have been embellished or distorted over time. Certainly, let's delve deeper into the chilling tale of the exorcism of George Lukens. As the exorcism progressed, Reverend Joseph Easterbrook called upon his faith and performed various rituals to expel the malevolent spirits from George's body. Witnesses claimed that during these sessions, the young boy displayed incredible physical strength, contorting his body in unnatural ways and levitating off the ground. Terrified onlookers couldn't explain these occurrences, and many believed that dark forces were truly at play. News of the exorcism spread like wildfire, attracting both skeptics and believers to the small village. Some were convinced that George was genuinely possessed, while others suspected it was a hoax or a case of mental illness. The exorcism sessions continued. For weeks, drawing crowds eager to witness the supernatural spectacle. Amidst the chaos and confusion, George's family stood by him, desperate to find a cure for their tormented son as the days turned into nights. The villagers lived in fear unsure of what horrors they might encounter next. Local rumors suggested that the spirits possessing George were linked to a tragic past, but concrete evidence was scarce. Despite the intense efforts, the exorcism seemed to have little effect, leaving many to wonder if the dark forces were simply too powerful to be vanquished by human hands. Finally, after months of struggling, Reverend Easterbrook declared that the exorcism had succeeded, and George was free from the grip of the malevolent entities. However, the ordeal left a lasting impact on George's life. He was forever haunted by the memories of the possession, and the village was never the same. The exorcism of George Lukens became a cautionary tale, warning people of the dangers of meddling with the unknown and the terrifying consequences that could follow. To this day, the story of George Lukens continues to be a spine-chilling reminder of the thin line that separates the realm of the living from the world of the supernatural. Whether you believe it to be a true horror story or merely a product of folklore and exaggeration, the legend of George Lukens lives on as a testament to the enduring fascination with the unexplainable and the eerie. What do you guys think about this story? Comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more true horror stories. Thanks for watching.